Hey guys, welcome back. DeFi, DJ and Strip, and Farm for Poverty. I'm your host, Strip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Forex Shark related projects. And in today's video, giving you a quick overview, I hope to make this quick, of the uh, Squid Grow Joe AMA that um, Forex just did. So, shout out to Squid Grow Joe. Um, he also puts timestamps in his video. Again, I'm going to deep dive into some of these later, but in this one, just want to give you the highlights. But definitely check out his channel if you want to see the exact information. And again, shout out to Ladies of the Fawcett. Uh, this one's Wonder Woman for having the notes up already. So we're gonna cover some quick info just to give you the highlight reel. So big thing is that the fiat on-ramp for pigs is coming first. And that was what this actual injection was here or this big green uh, spike that we had on the charts was because Forex said in order to um, have the fiat on-ramp started, you have to have a BUSD uh, a pool available or something to that effect. So he basically used $200,000 or whatever to buy pigs or put it in the contract. I didn't get the details from that or look up where that's at, but that caused this huge spike. And then of course, some more FOMO buys coming in after that. So that is already under wraps and we should see that in the next three weeks or so. So this was the last piece to moving that forward. And then he said it's about two to three weeks to get that onboarded. And he said the fiat on ramp for drip UI should be coming before the end of the year. That's his goal. Um, says here five to six weeks. He mentioned that that new team that he's hiring, the four man dev team, um, he sent them the contract and the proposal and he'll have um, final information, I guess on Monday. And then the goal is to have the drip UI with that fiat on ramp integrated at the same time. Uh, remember drip already has the BUSD pool, so there won't be any kind of buys for that. Also, speaking of drip, he mentioned uh, the drip USD LP pool tax free from the um, faucet. I mentioned this in my other video. He said it's still something they're considering, basically being able to claim your drip from here and move it straight into a contract that will then have you allocate the equivalent amount of BUSD so that it can be locked into the drip USD uh, farm. I personally don't think this is as bullish as some people think. It's it's a great opportunity for people to migrate from the faucet to the farm. But again, I showed you guys multiple times on my channel. Seems like I'm the only one that has broken this down. The best place for drip is in the faucet. If we want to see price appreciation and price, um, yeah, price appreciation mainly is keeping it in the faucet. Price stability can happen um, at a lower floor by moving it over to that drip USD farm. But remember, once it's on the farm, there is no, um, no, nothing keeping a person from unpairing it or taking it out. Granted, those taxes come back, but long-term price appreciation, it needs to happen on the faucet and it needs to be buying that circulating supply that we have in drip. I've shown that multiple, multiple times. It seems as though some content creators still just do not get it. This is all we're concerned about when you're looking at price appreciation. And every time drip moves from the faucet over to the farm, it just removes that drip from the tax vault and then it causes drip to mint. And then that just means more and more drip in circulation. So long-term, uh, the goal is to get more of that back into the faucet. Of course, again, it adds stability because you're adding more drip paired with BUSD, which makes the price less volatile. So there is price stability, but not price increase. So just keep that in mind. Uh, last, he mentioned that the um, governance would be coming. Um, didn't exactly say when that would be there, but that's supposed to be coming shortly as well, the Pikmin governance. Um, he's also still working on other areas to lend our single assets. I covered that already regarding Stargate and showed you guys that Stargate is not a risk to Alameda. Um, doesn't look like he's dug into that any further. So now he's thinking of any swap and seller. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to go dive into what the numbers would be until he actually picks one. Then we can see what we'd actually make from that. Uh, what else? That's probably the most critical. Um, oh yeah, reference the on and off ramp. So he did go into more detail about the on and off ramp. Uh, this being the actual off ramp. I believe at one point he mentioned MoonPay or maybe it's someone similar. I don't know who he's actually using, but if you want to learn more about off ramps and on ramps definitely check out MoonPay. they're one of the more legitimate ones in the space but he said basically that your off ramp would be um sent to a prepaid debit card so that you'd be able to essentially come over to the 
it'd be Animal Farm Pigs. I don't have that up right now, but basically, over here, you'd be able to add liquidity to pigs. There would be an option on the site to use your credit or debit card, and then you would select that here and actually be on the swap. Um, and then you would uh, get pigs. And then the off ramp would be basically taking those pigs and then it would say probably sell to USDC or BUSD. I'm not sure, probably BUSD, I guess. It's all on Binance. And then it would send that to your prepaid debit or credit card. So again, um, he mentioned in a few AMAs way back that Moon Pay was something he was in discussions with. I don't know who they're going with, could be someone else, but if you want to learn more about how that works, definitely come and check out moonpay.com just to understand how, how on and off ramps work. All right, so that is it for this. Uh, like I said, I'll be going into a deeper dive regarding some of the content here um, that he mentioned. So I'll be covering that on another channel, especially regarding this potential for a stable coin. Um, Want to dive into that. And that's about it. So, yep, short and sweet. If you want to hear the full AMA again, listen to uh, go to Squid Row Joe's channel. Check that out. And as always, if this provided some kind of value, you know, smash that HBO special, help a brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below, lift daily, and achieve your impossible. See you.